getting started with GSA, first we'll create a new model. Job details and mine. This information of course will appear on the printout. Change our model type to a plane frame. Right, let's, and now in this black model we're now adding some nodes. Now we can create all the nodes by typing them in or we can copy them. So let's copy these ones up by three meters and copy those ones up by four meters. Of course we can preview to make sure we're going in correctly and copy that chap over to create the ridge point. We also need to set some of these nodes as being, being restraint points, so modify those being pinned. We also need to add in some elements, use the add elements tool. If we just draw them in, and if we hold the control down we can do multiple selections. We can also, if I pick these three nodes, just add in a string of elements. Nice and quick. Also want some bracing in there. Now these two elements here, as I mentioned, these going bracing. I'm going to select and modify those two, and they're going to become tie elements, which are tension only. You see, they're now displayed as a slightly different colour. Now we've got no sections in here at the moment, so let's define some sections. Column first of all, use the catalogs. Change to a UC section or maybe a 254. Now, all of these we can just type in, but the wizard is much quicker, especially for um, catalog sections. A 90 angle, um, beams, maybe a 254 beam, and the the rafters. Uh, 305 this time, I think. Now we need to apply these onto the model. See, we've got the current all the same section size, so again, I'll select those two and modify them to bring property number two, which is the brace. Those two there, not copy, which is number three of the beams and those two those rafters up there. Now some of these look quite similar so we can change the display method but to colour by property so we can see them a little bit better. Now we'll also need to add in releases onto some of these. Now the tyres of course are tension only but these two beams here I want these to be um, pinned at the ends. And so we now got pinned releases on those. Right. Um, next we need to add in some loads onto this model. Now this node here, node 5, I can just add this node load into the table. Which can be like say 5 clinicians. Let's put this into locase 3. Now locase 3 hasn't got a title at the moment, so let's go and give these a title. So locase 1 is going to be dead, locase 2 give me live, and locase 3 give me wind. You can see this now updates it to suit. Now we can display this load on the model. We also want to add some um, beam loads. So on this beam here for example I can just select it and create a beam load. 
which is going to be is it minus six kilonewtons. And similarly, this one here. This will be a linear load going from minus six to minus eight. Um, snow drifting up against this change in height. All these two here, these rafters, I can just copy those as a list and create them directly into the beam table. These ones will be projected because they're sloping. Now, let's say we can just run the analysis. But we will find we get a warning because we've got um, tie elements which of course are non-linear elements, so we shouldn't combine these results. So what I'll do instead is erase those results and create a new analysis task from scratch. And this time we'll actually factor the individual um, load cases. Uh, dead plus wind. We can bracket these ones. Dead plus lie plus wind. And of course, we'd have um, unfactored load cases for the deflections. So we now have these various load cases with different moments and deflections and so on. Now we can envelope these results using the combination case. I use the wizard and just envelope those three. And there I are envelope results which we can then annotate accordingly as we choose. And we can print this out and submit etc. So they have it getting started with GSA.